get to the tiebreaker is huge. Takahashi goes for another one. Clever note. Sends the overpass in. Nishida off the block and away. Japan pounce on the error. 4-1. And Andrea Gianni says, we got to do something about this now. Down by three early on, got to call the timeout, trying to slow the momentum. Red alert when uh, Sakita's at the uh, at the service line. Oh, that's a bit of pinball, and the last touch comes off Lopez. <laughs> and Japan opening this up now. Nishida with a one-on-one -on -one block against Herrera. And here we go, a substitution coming in for Cuba. Nick, we've been asking for it. Marlon Yant has come in for Lopez. Here he is at the service line. Again, nicely picked up, good pass. Nishida sends it back again. Really good service reception coming in from Japan. I think it was Taka, Ran Takahashi this time. Uh, looks like that ball went right through Chen and Yezi's block. Bit unfortunate for him, but... They don't want him getting going. It's a very uncomfortable pass. Nishida, well, he can dominate. Straight at cross court. Ended up taking a piece of Coach Vives on the way through as well. Now Simone jumped on the middle attacker from Japan, leaving Mark Arejo the only blocker against Nishida. Nishida's... That's a nice pass. <laughs> as soon as you see a pass like that, you're thinking, who's it going to be? Who's going to get on the end of that one? And it was Nishida, and his cross court was not coming back. Nishida just absolutely unloads on that ball. Look at that. Inside the three meter line. What a swing. <laughs> nice pick up from Takahashi. Nishida. <laughs> You know, I think Irvin Engerpeth there was trying to find a white flag that he could raise before Nishida even swung through this one. 22. She is right through oh. the gap. It winds up a big aggressive one, and again, Yamamoto absolutely outstanding on reception, and Nishida threads that one down the line again. Yamamoto is doing such a good job in that backcourt. Yuji. Nishida has to have a big night for them. And we're going to get a challenge, a late. Nishida drills it. It's another nice ace. Perfect. Now Nishida off to a very hot start here in set number three. Yeah. Two kills and a service ace. You saw Tales just look at that and say, like, oh, no, he's got another one. And Herrera with the big dig to get that one going. Sakita will have all day to choose his options, and uh, Yuji Nishida rips it down the line, and there's no stopping that one. We've seen some big hits at the start of this fourth set. Yeah, and Nishida really setting the tone with this huge whip of an... Simon. Oh, it's a nice one. Skimmed off the net there. Takahashi's done well and into the block, but out of play. Well, sorry, I thought he had himself a block point there. Uh-uh. This is a great swing by Japan, but just too much of a seam there between the two blockers. They've got to get shoulder to shoulder. Stop in front. The man who sows such chaos. Uh, Magareja has got underneath that one. Yant's little dink doesn't work. Ishikawa with the flashy stuff. <laughs> yeah. They, they love that decoy play, don't they? they it's do like that. he's going to come in and swing, and then he sets. They do that as much as they can. Comes in, looks like he's going to hit. Nobody bit, but then he sets it out to Nishida down the line. Nation in touch here. Wonderful, wonderful service reception from Otsuka, but his cross court is nicely picked up as well. Now, can they conjure something up out of this? They've kept it alive, but... Uh, Surely just delaying the inevitable, and there it is, New Yuji Nishida with a little bit of touch to get the better of the block. Now, Yuji showing all of his range. The lefty right side attacker for Japan. Getting that ball off the block and down. Doesn't always have to go with the power. Uses a little finesse that time and still scores. It'll be Bariro 
with the serve. Otsuka can take that pretty comfortably, and Otsuka will look to finish it off. That's uh, taking a big, big spin off uh, Ribeiro. I tell you, the, the, the Libero has done brilliantly there to try and keep that alive, but it's just still going as well. This is great defense from Kata this time. They're going to need more defense here, because here comes Nishida, and they won it at the third attempt, breaking that Kata resistance. Oh, that is some way to finish a rally. Watch this play here, the libero diving save into the boards, and those boards are not soft. <laughs> those hurt as he was holding his hip throughout the rest of this rally, but Nishida finishing it off down the... One of the few survivors from that 2018 World Championship squad. That's... Uh, anytime you've got the libero setting from the backcourt, you know the blockers are getting their eyes big because they're going to have all day to set up and put a wall up. Huge advantage to Japan. Opposite hitter takes a crack at it, but it hits it too low right into that left hand. 22-18. That's a nice take. That's a nice block, even better. I tell you, Nishida was there, but uh, Yamauchi might well be saying, that's mine, thank you very much. The stuff block from the big fella. Yeah, great block here from Japan. This ball will be set just a little bit too tight. And Japan with a Welch on the in-out call. But a point for Japan nonetheless. Yeah, he's not going to get it, as you say. And there's a, a block nicely picked up by Ribaro to keep it alive. That's kept up by Sekita. And uh, what an angle taken there by Yuji Nishida. I tell you, that is some swing. Yuji Nishida, one of the most electrifying players on this Japanese side, plays his professional volleyball in Italy. But that is an extreme angle that only Nishida can pull off. Net skimmer there. Yamamoto's watched it all the way. It'll come out to Nishida, who just powered his way through that and draws the foul. Yeah, net, viola net violation called that time against Ibrahim on his blocking move. No argument as we see a quick replay of this. Nishida from the left side, sorry, the right. But there. Kata captain, and we've already seen what he's capable of from the service line. What does he wind up here? That's a nice one. Yamamoto getting plenty of air underneath that one. Sakita sets up Nishida. Enough time for uh, Kata to get their defenses together. Lovely one-handed dig there from Yamamoto. And again, Japan just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. And eventually Nishida goes for the cross court off the block. Japan just so good at prolonging rallies, covering their hitters, multiple attacks in one rally. And Finally getting that cross-court winner. Well, it's the old story. If you can split two of them, they either both go for it or neither of them go for it. They both leave it. And that's what he got there. And they both had to go for that one. It's another beautiful serve. That'll get picked up by Yamamoto. He'll do a lot of that. And then Nishida pops up far side. That's contained. Fernando will set up the pipe attack. And that's a bit of a surprise. Oh, that... Uh push too long two attacks no kills yet for Brazil down 0-2 here Nishida that was another sizzler it really is that sent backwards Lucarelli setting from about five meters behind the back line but they do keep it in play now Sakita has options and he'll send it to Otsuka that doesn't come up with a winner either this could be trouble oh Johan de Leal almost taking the head of uh, Rantakashi off there but he's kept it in play and then they come up with the winner as well that's typical Japan defense just send everything back in the backcourt from Japan after a strong serve again from the inline both teams working really hard here's another dig just back over the net. Keep the rally going. Lucarelli has to step in and set, and it's a block. Lucas. Brazil. Going through the gears and put themselves in a good position here. That was uh, Ishikawa running into the containing block, but that's better. Fernando would love to have that one back. It got past the block, and I don't think Fernando was expecting that. Now, Fernando kind of charges in. Catches him up high, but a missed defensive opportunity that time. Ran Takahashi picks that up. Sakida has to travel. Ishikawa runs into the block. The block's there again as Ishikawa is off, off net this time. And Lucarelli comes up to set. 
Wallace tries to go cross court. Sakita will now send it cross court for Ishikawa. There's the block, but out it goes. They got three in the block, but uh, Ishikawa, the captain, still managed to conjure up a winner. Yeah, great set that time from Sakita all the way out, and three blockers. Leal, the last one to get there, results in that attack going off his hands and then out of bounds. So Wallace will now serve at 18 13. A nice pickup. Ooh, the block was even better from Flavio. So Ishikawa has to turn setter, and Ran Takahashi says, Thank you very much.